What's up my fabulous love bug goodies? Welcome back to your girl channel and to our kitchen. Another requested recipe, how to cook Jamaican chicken back soup in minutes on your table, like one, two, three. Now good, if you're here watching me cooking this chicken back soup for your very first time, be sure that you have subscribed already. If you have not subscribed, feel free to do so. And then turn on the post notification settings to be aware of whenever your girl uploads brand new videos like this one better than this one all right so you ready for the recipe let's get started you don't remember where you're coming from you don't remember where you're coming from you don't remember where you're coming from rest of our eye eye why you turn your back on your brother when him need you? Need you know remember the days I'm when him feed you. Need you know when no obligation but you win some respect. All you need to do is just give him one to get turn your back on your brother when him need Okay, goody. Now, this is your chicken back soup that you have requested, all right? Now, I'm going to show you how to make it fast, easy, and simple using chicken back. Now, you could use any kind of meat, or uh, if you want to use chicken, you could go ahead and use it, but I'm going to show you how to get chicken back soup in your kitchen in a minute, all right? And it's so delicious, and it's so tasty, and it's fast, and it's good for Saturday dinners, and yeah. Yes, I love me some chicken back soup. Now, we could talk about the ingredients and all the things we are going to need for make one of the meanest, wickedest, tastiest, yummiest chicken back soup. Of course, you need um, your flavoring. So, but let's talk about the chicken back first. First and foremost, let's get that out of the way, right? Now, I have my chicken back here that I bought in my farmer's market. You won't find it in some um supermarkets but i usually get mine at the farmer's market and i paid like a dollar and 45 cents so four pieces and i picked up four packs now when you get it you want to make sure that you wash it nice and clean you are going to try to take off as much of the fat off of it but don't take all of it off because it is going to give your chicken back soup a lot of flavor now i usually wash it with salt lemon juice and vinegar you want to make sure that you wash your meat your poultry your steak your beef whatever Whatever you are cooking you make sure that you give it a thorough wash and you clean that chicken back really 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 good right before you do anything good yes now I'm gonna add corn and carrots and chocho and pumpkin yes boo and of course you are going to need scallion and thyme you're gonna need scallion and thyme for the recipe right I also bought it at my farmers market as well now I'm gonna add some yellow yam to it and the yellow yam is optional you could put whatever kind of yam you like you need your Irish potato or your scotch bonnet pepper I'm using pumpkin flavored soap mix and chicken flavored soap mix that is a two soap mix that I'm you uh, that I use when I'm making chicken soup if I'm making like beef or something I still use a pumpkin and I then I use beef soup mix I'm using one cup of all-purpose flour to make my spinners I'm not gonna make the big round dumplings them I'm just making spinners. Now, the flavor I top, you need pimento seed and salt and some all purpose seasoning to give it an extra boost of flavor. Even though my chicken flavored mix have flavor to it, I still like to go ahead and top it up with extra flavor. I think I went over all the ingredients. Yes, I think I did. So, yeah. That is what you need to make a chicken box soup. Turn up loud. Now, in that pot, I had it about six cups of water. Six cups to get started. Make sure your water is nice and hot when you put your chicken back in there. After you don't wash it nice and clean, good, right? Then I put my pumpkin, my chocha, and my carrot to get started. Now, when you get started, you don't want to make sure so you flavor up the thing, right? You're going to flavor up the thing because you want the thing for cook nice and tender decently tender but you want it for a flavor when you cook it so add some salt add your pimento seed to it and your all-purpose seasoning i'm using grace brand because i love grace i did go ahead and put um about a tablespoon of chopped 
garlic to it cover it up and give it 30 minutes 30 minutes later everything was cooked the way that I wanted it to cook the pumpkin was cooked and the carrot was cooked and the chocha was cooked and it was smelling good already mm -hmm. it was smelling good already now to that I went ahead and put my yam and my corn and I added the scallion and thyme and the, and the Irish potato into the mix right I gave it a nice little mix and I want to allow this to cook all right I want to allow this to cook I want to make sure that my my, my yams and my potato and all them thing there is cooked but before I do anything, I made sure to put my pumpkin soup mix to it and my chicken soup mix to it because I want when it is cooking, it is cooking with flavor. That yam and that corn and the Irish potato and that chicken that I got a flavor. It's all about flavor good in my kitchen, you know. It's a trick to the dish, them flavor. Mm -hmm. It's a timing when you put things in your food to make it food have flavor, right? So I went ahead and allowed it to cook. Cook. But if your water boiled down in that 30 minutes before, because I started with six cups of water. I am going to go ahead and add some more water to it. I think I added about a cup and a half of water. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and make my dumplings first. That's one cup of all purpose flour. And I had just a tad bit of salt to it, not too much. Went to add, make my dumplings. That's what we have here. I'm going to go ahead and put my splinters. Splinters. We don't put, you could put them wrong. Whatever shape, size, what good it. Are you kitchen now? I mean, I'll tell you what fit Go ahead and add whatever kind of dumplings. So come for me about my spinners them in my chicken box soup me gonna put whatever me like right so i went ahead and i put spinners in my soup right because i someone want the thing i someone want the thing but when i'm making spinners in my soup i like to add a lot of dumplings because my daughter loves dumplings my husband loves dumplings i love it too so i went i had quite a bit of that spinners all up in that mix right mix it give it a little tiny mix in without interfering and distracting my dumplings so them chop up chop up nice and gentle like so and then you add your water in because you want to make sure that your mixture has enough water to cook so now you put your water in right and the water is not going to take away from the flavor because remember you already started cooking your soup mix before you put that anything that dumping in now I'm going to go ahead and put my scotch bonnet pepper in me afraid of pepper but because I want the soup for a flavor I want people for happy me go ahead and put it in there now if you're still watching me cooking this chicken back soup go ahead and subscribe to your girl channel and turn on those post notifications so you'll be aware whenever I upload videos like this one now I always have some good tasting recipes up here check them out check them out and share them to all your pages all your social media go ahead and share the love while you're sharing go ahead and subscribe to your girl channel life as Juliana I do inspirational videos Dollar Tree DIYs whatever come to my mind I'm do them here all kind of thing I'm also doing my vegan recipes over here so there's no more vegan recipe over here only over there so go ahead and subscribe to your girl channel life is juliana and show me some love i am waiting now after us and i'm done my soup is finished goody mm. my house is smelling so good right now saturday never happy so this is a great saturday saturday dinner with a nice slice of bread or crackers or whatever you want but my chicken box soup was huh, feeling good looking good and smelling good and i was happy
I was ready to dive into this goodness. Husband was waiting. Daughter's waiting. My, <laughs> my friend was waiting. She was loving the smell of this chicken back soup. This chicken back soup brings back so much memory. Y'all, yeah, for me, growing up in Jamaica, a lot of times when we couldn't afford to buy chicken, we just had to go get some chicken back. And we had we, we, we had some of the best chicken back soup in my kitchen. Am I? the kitchen chicken back soup we love some chicken back soup honey this chicken back soup is off the chain goodness if you don't want to go chicken back right go ahead and get you some chicken and just follow all the steps it's the same now if you're still here watching me cooking make sure that you have subscribed turn on those post notifications share it with friends and family tell them what's going on up over here send them come send them come come in a selfish right tell me what you like to have me cooking next in my kitchen and as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy good 30 minutes on medium heat cover it up nice and make it simmer and when it done simmer a time to eat so see you back okay, in a guys, few minutes so this is in with your foundation full coverage you know like bam and last but not least the last thing i tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here let me show you what this baby look like it has a whole bunch of concealers i believe it's ten dollars for this palette 